Good morning, this is Kelsey. I'm up at the Sun Peaks Farmer's Market this morning and it has poured rain all night long. So it is a cold, chilly morning up here. We are dressed in our jackets and our boots, but that hasn't stopped me from making something nice and warm to eat. It only takes 10 minutes to create this dish and then let it cook for a couple hours in your crock pot. So just before I left for the market, I went, oh, what am I gonna eat today? It's gonna be so cold up here. So I decided I chopped up an onion, chopped up five cloves of garlic, threw in a can of tuna, a can of corn, Went to get my chicken stock and realized I didn't have any, so then I threw in a can of coconut milk, some water, a little bit of chicken bouillon, chopped up some beautiful little yellow uh, fingerling potatoes from the farmer's market, and uh, some shelling peas. I shelled those up, threw them in the pot, threw in some basil, a bay leaf, and I mixed this all up, and it's sitting here crocking it, cooking in my crock pot at the farmer's market. So I'll show you what that looks like. Look at that cooking away. Yum, yum, yum. So of course the main ingredient, albacore tuna, straight out of the can and added into there. So it took me less than 10 minutes to, to cut the vegetables, throw it in the pot, plug it in. Two hours later, everything is cooked, ready to go. Add a little bit of salt or pepper, whatever you like. You could also squish a nice lime on top of that afterwards. That's what I'm gonna do. Nice piece of fresh bread and butter and you've got an amazing pot of tuna chowder that could feed anywhere from, you know, two really, really hungry people to uh, five or six people if you're only having one bowl each. I'm up at the Sun Peaks Farmer's Market. We're here right now until 1.30 this afternoon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.